Hey, hello, my friends. Hope everybody is well today. I'm going to uh, review my uh, Chromebook I bought about two weeks ago. It's the uh, HP 2-in-1 14-inch uh, Chromebook. So I'm going to uh, let's get this uh, show on the road real quick for you. Obviously, it's not going to be an unboxing video, but this is basically uh, the... Um, the information that you're going to get just so you know what you're getting okay now let me first say this don't judge an HP Chromebook by its cover there are two of these uh, models out there one goes for $399 this is the higher end model. This is the 599 model. Let me go over what the 399 model has, what the 599 model has, and I'll tell you, I'll show you how you tell the difference between the two models, which is very important. Because you'll see a lot of YouTube videos on these, and uh, somebody will be reviewing the higher end model, and somebody will say, Oh, I just bought one for 325. Well, you didn't buy the higher model for 325. So the, uh, the, um, the lower one, the 399 one, is a obviously a two-in-one, which means it's foldable, tablet mode, a touchscreen Chromebook, Intel Celeron chip, four gigabyte RAM, 32 gigabyte of uh, flash memory, and it's ceramic white, they call it, and that's 399 That is the suggested retail price. You can get that on sale for probably 325 at times. And in this one here, is the HP 2-in-1, 14-inch touchscreen Chromebook, obviously, Intel Core i3 processor, which is a much faster processor. I'm not a techie, but I know it's much faster. And I have 8 gigabyte of RAM and 64 gig of uh, flash memory, and it's uh, $599. I bought it at Best Buy. Best Buy threw me a coupon for my birthday. I think I... Well, I didn't walk out the door because you can't go into Best Buy. I uh, picked it up in the parking lot for about five thirty-five. dollars Okay, so like I said, you can't judge a book by its cover. And the other way you can tell which Chromebook is which is when you open it up, these keys on the $399 one will not be this color. They will be white. So just to want to make you guys aware of that and the, uh, the $599 one, is going to have the keys same color as uh, <clears throat> the bezel. All right, so let's start off with the exterior of this Chromebook. I've had several Chromebooks. I've been a Chromebook user since probably when they came out, 2012, 2013, and I love them. I do a lot of online selling on eBay and Amazon, and I am 99% Chromebook. Everything I do is on the web, or I use one of the apps on the Chromebook. Uh, the only thing I do on a Windows machine is print the gosh darn labels for shipping because I don't have a wireless printer. But the outside is made really, really well. Obviously, it's white on top, shiny. Um, I did buy a case for it. I did a video on that uh, two weeks ago or last week. Um, pretty rugged. Hopefully, I won't be dropping it anytime soon, but it looks pretty rugged. Um, all right, opens up pretty easy. I'm going to tell you the good and, and, and a few of the things that got on my nerves about this. The one thing that's sort of weird is there's a spot here in the hinges, like right somewhere in there. When I sit outside on the deck, I'll sit like this with it on my lap, angled. And sometimes after a while, the screen, it stays, but it sort of like is really loose in certain spots, like right there. Um, other than that, that is about the only exterior thing that uh, sort of gets on my nerves. Took me a while. Let's talk about the backlit keyboard. It took me a while actually to get used to the backlit keyboard. I wanted it and I finally got it. Now you'll notice the backlit keyboard is off here. You can, there's a little trick here. You can actually turn it on, off, make it bright and dull by holding the Alt and your um, <clears throat> screen brightness thing. So I'm going to see that now it's low, now it's high. Uh, I turn it off if I don't need it. It saves on the battery. But um, when I'm outside, I turn it off. When I first got it, I was using it outside on the deck, and I'm like, oh, this keyboard is really getting on my nerves. I can't 
I know I should be looking at the keyboard while I'm typing, but I still do. I can't see the keys with this thing on, so I figured out how to, I looked it up and I figured out how to turn the, the backlit thing off, and it works great outside for me. <coughs> Excuse me, as far as the screen brightness, uh, it's, uh, I'm okay with it. I know some people say it could be brighter, but um, it's pretty good for me. The sound is pretty good on it. Obviously, it's a Chromebook. You're not going to get the beautiful sound out of a Chromebook. It's good enough for me. I don't do a whole lot of listening of uh, music and stuff on it. A lot of just webinars and stuff. Uh, the trackpad is a big trackpad. Very big. Um, it's got a great feel to it. Uh, it's probably one of the nicest trackpads I've had. I've had Acer's. The last Chromebook I had was an Acer R11. Uh, a smaller a smaller Chromebook, a 11-inch screen. I loved it. Um, it's all, all these are touchscreen. My wife always says, but you never touch the screen. <laughs> well, I can't argue that one. <laughs> I rarely ever touch the screen. Um, but the touchscreen is very responsive. Um... It's just a really, really uh, responsive computer. Let me uh, go over the ports now. The ports were a challenge for me. I bought this site on scene because of the pandemic. I was really hoping to go and uh, look at one and touch it. I, I really have never bought a computer site on scene before until I bought this one. Um, and I was surprised how much I liked it. So let's go over the ports. This is where the challenge comes in that you don't get a whole lot of ports on laptops and Chromebooks anymore like you used to. That's your up and down volume, which I don't know why it's, you would even use that, whatever. Um, USB port, I think it's a 3.0 or 3.5, probably 3.0. Type-C connector, this is power and also a connector. And not a whole lot over here. A micro SD card, which is nice to have, your headphone jack, and another Type-C connector. So I got this thing home, and I had my R11, I unplugged it, and I went to put that external monitor HDMI cord, or plug, into this thing, and I'm going, oh, heck, there's no HDMI thing, so I had to go and buy a multi-port adapter. I bought it online. I waited a week. I got it. It didn't work. It was nine dollars. I'm a cheapskate and I said heck with it. Ordered it off of Best Buy. Uh, they said it was ready in an hour. Went to pick it up. Spent 50 bucks. I did a video on that a couple days ago. I love it. Um, I really love the way it works. It controls uh, my external monitor. I have dual screens now which I'm really trying to use with this thing which really is very makes me more productive um, and I just hook a bunch of other things there, there's a bunch of other things the only thing I've noticed with the um, with the multi port is it does get a little warm after a while and when you're using all that stuff your battery is gonna run down a little bit as far as the battery uh, they're saying about eight hours on the battery I'm sure that's in some kind of laboratory super conditions uh, I have run it for seven hours just with the, I have a Bluetooth mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard. I've run it for seven hours just with that, not really doing a whole bunch of like heavy stuff on it. Um, so I was happy with that and I was, it was down to about 10%, excuse me, after about seven hours. I've also run it on battery power with my mouse keyboard and the um, the multi-port thing doing zoom calls with an external monitor on dual on dual uh, monitor mode um, and I'll be honest with you the battery did not last that long after about two and a half hours it was down to about uh, 20 percent uh, I was right next to a plug anyway actually I was up here in my other office and I just plugged it in and, and let it charge up another thing I've noticed about the battery at times is When you're, uh, if you're like at 70% or 80% and you plug in your charger or your cord to charge it, sometimes the light will always be orange, the charging light, like it's always charging, 
It never turns white. I mean, when I say never, I mean it'll take a very, very long time. It seems like there's a little bug in these that the battery has to be below 70 or 60 percent. I can't remember. I looked it up all over the place because I had the same problem with my uh, with my Acer R11. The battery was only charging up to about 90 percent. And I had to go through all this rigmarole. I did a video on that a couple of years ago and got it. Um, had to go into the operating system and do all sorts of weird things. Clear out the battery memory and stuff like that. And it worked. But boy, when I saw that orange light and it was staying orange when I got up the next morning, I was like, oh no. So what I did was I powered it down, let it charge up. Only took about probably about 20 minutes for it to fully charge. And it's uh, only happened once after that. What else can I show you? Like I said, I am uh, very happy with this. It does have a fan in the back. So it will get a little warm on you. Not hot, but it will get warm. The fan is very quiet. I know I've read a lot of reviews where people say the fan's loud. I don't know. Maybe there's something wrong with theirs. But it is pretty quiet. It doesn't really blow that much. You're not going to feel like a fan blowing out hot air. But it does get warm. A little warm. Let me show you the... Um, all in uh, the um, the tablet mode, which I don't really use that much. Now I took my case off of this. You can do it like this, which is great. I've used my R11 like this when I was running my meetups in person, when I had a sign-in form and people could just sign in and put all their information in there. You can also flip it over to tablet mode. And I love the way it sort of, not snaps, but it sort of really hugs the bottom of the um, of your uh, your computer. Now, I did take the, the cover off before I put it in this tablet mode because when you have the, the plastic cover, which I do not have with me, it's a very thin cover. It's um, I did a video on it, uh, Pearl. Uh, M cover, which is a really neat cover, very thin. The it sits up like this. Here, let me get it so you can see it. But it sits up like this, and it's always like like bouncing a little bit. And I'm like, I really don't want to put any stress on these hinges at all. Um, I've never had a problem with a hinge on a computer, but I don't need to be having a problem with this one. Like I said, I am a pretty frugal person. I have never spent this much money on a computer. But all in all, I tell you, I'll be honest with you, I am uh, very impressed with it. Um, it is a little on the heavy side, but it is a 14-inch monitor. Uh, but, but it is a little bit on the heavy side, so it does add to backpack weight. Because uh, what I'm trying to do with this is I'm really trying to be very productive. And I'm trying to create like a mini office I can put in my backpack. With this, i got a computer stand for it, so it sits up higher. I've got a Bluetooth mouse, a Bluetooth keyboard. Um... What else can I talk about here with this? Um, I, I'm just very impressed with it. It's, uh, it's, it's it's very cool. Let me show you people that don't have a Chromebook and are thinking of getting a Chromebook. Just how fast something like this boots up. What's so nice about a Chromebook too is it updates automatically. You're not going to get messages like on well, Windows machines. Oh, update, update, update. Any updates going to take forever. So you can either turn it on two ways. You can turn it on. Oop. <laughs> I always go to the right because my R11 was on the right, the power button. You can use the power button or you can close it and open it up again. Power button, you just push it in. And the white light goes on where the power button is. And you're going to sign on. And that is it. You're up. What was that? Not even 20 seconds? Well, I hope you found this video helpful uh, with this uh, Chromebook. Please go out and buy one if you're looking for a higher-end Chromebook. It is well worth it very fast and everything. So if you like the video, please uh, smash the old like button for me. I really appreciate it. And I'm trying to get more Chromebook uh, content up there on my channel. I love Chromebooks. been using them forever. I'm going to start doing that. Please subscribe to my channel. And guys, hey, have a great day. And thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it.